C'est la cactus de la One Direction. I feel good. Dirty, independent identity. DI twice, motherfucker. Here, lazy bastard. You're about to witness an avoidable number of nonsenses. This is our sophisticated introspection process. Do not reproduce this at home. At least, not exactly. Because we invite you to follow the same path, not the same result. Far from traditional surf movies, close to the authenticity and the truth. 100% independent, 0% sponsored. It's gonna be dirty, it's gonna be independent, and it's gonna represent our identity. So listen, watch carefully, but keep in mind that this is what we do. But do what you are. No matter what disgusting stickers you have on your board, no matter what surfing level is yours, or the aquatic sport you're practicing, stay true, stay you. Trusting a high performance prediction by Cakes Machine. Staring our most major sportsmen. Healthy, vegan, rational and very, very cautious. Who are we? Well, we are some adrenaline junkies. Happy dudes, working guys, professional and employed, whatever. And most of us are probably French putain. Understood artists, mainly misunderstood. We do waterboard sports and a lot of other kind of sports. Or have sports. We are true Shaka boys, dude. Every type of Shaka is handled. Classic Shaka, Mini Shaka, Goofy Shaka, Regular Shaka, West Side Shaka, Shaky Shaka, Fuck Shaka. We hate contests, but we do have some friends that compete. And we support them anyway. We're all different. Some of us are young, less young. Guys, cheeks, goofies, regulars, locals, newcomers. But we are surprisingly all the same. We wake up, we make the call to our loyal buddies, we drink coffee, we look for waves, we serve those waves. At least we try. We hit the can, we hit the stick, and repeat. Sometimes wave sucks. Actually, really often. We meet at Joe's Inn, we look at some clips we already know, we jerk off on our favorite dudes, we check the forecast, and we wait for better days, doing our best to avoid any kind of contribution to this world. Look at Thibaut, for example. He never starts a day without hitting a massive bamboo, but when he surfs, he flies. Or Jordan. I've never seen him showing up with clean fingers, but when he surfs, he fucking flies. And because we had a busy schedule, we decided to film all of our shit. I mean, everyone of them. <laughs> and during this tedious adventure, trying to tell our own, <laughs> we've been cold, we've been hot, we took planes, buses, scooters. We have learned that nothing really happened the way you expect it to. We smashed some waves, we smashed some boards too, a lot of them. We did hurt ourselves. We hurt some others too. We walked a lot. I mean, a lot. And to get to the animated square you're looking at, we've been supported by really committed camera guys. On the sand, in the water, with 422 bytes or whatever it's called, or with the shittiest camera, with broken tripod. They had to respect our way of lives, follow us without asking any questions, eat with us, sleep with us, drink with us. Actually, this part was not that hard. <laughs> and travel with us. <laughs> Portugal, to Morocco, Indonesia, France, Brazil. We had the patience and the excitement to spend hours on our way to our dream spots. Let's appreciate the vitality of our crazy team from all over our dear Gaia. The heart full of burning patience, dreaming about the maneuvers we will never complete, the waves we will never surf. We have fallen in the deep world that consumes us. Who knows why we had inflicted this to ourselves? Our hands shaking, waiting for the next session, stoned by the desire of freedom, lightness, actually just ourselves. The wind in the air smashing our faces to the ground all day long. To be able to feel, for a brief moment, the absolute satisfaction. So we are all different, but we are all the same. And that's our story.
I dirty bastard. I swear to never pretend to be someone I'm not and always stay true to myself. I swear to never be in a huff. I swear to never disrespect the locals. And also to never let a she win waste my session. I swear to never say no to a generous can or a stick handed by a generous friend. To never shut up whenever I have something to say. I swear to never stay outside of the circle. Quiet, but always be the first to spread a happy mess. So, to summarize, I, dirty bastard, I swear to stay dirty. Hold on for a second. Let's breathe for a moment and let me tell you something. You think you're looking at some outlaws dedicating to nothing more than living their selfish and useless life? Not exactly. Every lazy bastard can also be a dedicated motherfucker. Look at this film you're actually watching. And in every one of them is hiding a true life living expert. Some just don't know. Some just are not, that's probably right. But every day that rises, those people are truly happy. 
to do whatever crosses their mind, only worrying about going through another day with one goal, doing some shit stuff and bring good stories back home. Isn't it what life should always be? Let's go. 